This is part four of the South. Biltmore Estate. The largest home in the United States is the centerpiece of an immaculate 8,000 acre estate that includes lush gardens, active vineyards, and a luxury inn. Originally the country retreat of the Vanderbilt family, Biltmore has evolved into a swanky tourist attraction. Biltmore Mansion was the vision of George W. Vanderbilt. In the late 1880s, he purchased 125,000 acres in the Blue Ridge Mountains near Asheville, North Carolina, where he built the 250-room French Renaissance Chateau that includes 65 fireplaces, an indoor pool, a bowling alley, gardens designed by landscape architect Frederick Law Olmsted. The walled garden on the Biltmore Estate blooms with a progression of color from spring through summer. And there is a picture of the wall that it was just talking about. Outer Banks. Today, a particularly serene stretch of sea and land, North Carolina's Outer Banks belay their treacherous past. A group of Englishmen, women, and children settled on Roanoke Island in the 1580s and then mysteriously disappeared. Among the pirates who hid their treasure around these islands in the 18th century was the infamous Blackbeard. He materialized in the area with a price on his head and was quickly captured and executed. Families will enjoy the lively Roanoke Island Festival Park, which has a hands-on museum, free concerts and plays, and a replica of the ship that brought over the colonists who disappeared. But the history doesn't end there. The Wright Brothers National Memorial marks the site of the world's first successful airplane flight. There is a picture of something. <laughs> Outer Banks. Myrtle Beach. South Carolina's Grand Stand, Strand, Myrtle Beach, has been a favorite sun and sand destination for more than a century. The beach is named for the numerous wax myrtle trees growing along the shore. The Seaside Inn, which opened in 1901, became the first of many increasingly sophisticated resorts that have made this one of the top tourist areas on the East Coast. Myrtle Beach shares its name with the adjacent city. The beach itself bustles with all sorts of activity. Parasailers fly above the ocean, surfers hang ten on the tide, and divers explore the depths below. Push carts stocked with frozen lemonade and shops overflowing with t-shirts and bright beachwear are always close at hand. Myrtle Beach is known for its great family atmosphere thanks to a lively boardwalk and numerous waterfront tourist attractions, including an amusement park. A posh pier is the longest pier on the East Coast. And there's a picture of the pier. If it shows up. <laughs> Hilton Head Island. Hilton Head Island is one of the premier beach getaway destinations in the Southeast. It was named for William Hilton, an English sea captain who explored the island in the 17th century. The foot-shaped barrier island off the South Carolina coast is only 42 square miles, but that small space holds a semi-tropical paradise of white sand beaches, salt marshes, lagoons, and lush forests of mossy oaks, palmettos, magnolia, and pine. The island's pristine natural environment is balanced with the graceful aesthetics of some of the finest resorts and golf courses. The combination is a magnet for visitors. Although the year-round population is just 30, 31,000 people, Hilton Head Island sees more than 2.5 million tourists each year. They come not only for the lush scenery, posh resorts, and great golf, but also for many deep breaths of fresh coastal air, abundant peace and quiet, and those pe beautiful sunsets that play out over the mainland on the western horizon. And that just looks so pretty. <laughs> Charleston. Charleston, South Carolina is a beautifully preserved city full of antebellum mansions, quaint cobblestone alleys, and carefully preserved historic buildings. After the Civil War devastated the community, residents were so poor that they could not afford to rebuild, so the city simply adopted its old buildings, unknowingly protecting them as historical treasures for future generations to appreciate. Magnolia Plantation is a great example of Charleston's preservation. You can tour the home and take the natural nature train tour to see the plantation's many animals including alligators. You can also enjoy the petting zoo, the wildlife observation tower, the garden maze. History buffs will enjoy a tour of Fort Sumter National Monument, 
where the first shots of the Civil War were fired. And there is a picture of a cannon in Fort Sumter. 